are a go. Welcome everybody to TPK Roleplay. Welcome back to Henshin. This is uh, Henshin at Gogo episode 3. This is uh, the Singularity Crew, where on Wednesday nights we wear pink. Although nobody seems to be following that rule lately, so uh, everybody's going to get crushed by rocks and die. That's just My soul is pink. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to jump right in. We're going to let our players go ahead and give their introductions, a little bit of background, and then we're going to get right into the game. Thanks everybody for coming and hanging out. We will start with Dex. Of course I'm first. Hi folks, I'm Young Foxy, aka Big Foxy, also known as your favorite fox. Tonight I will be playing Dex Trellin, the orange henshin of the imp spirit. My only goal here is to cause problems on purpose and to look good while doing it. I don't know who's next, by the way, so just someone pick it up. Go have fun. It's kind of wherever you want. Oh, cool. Well, then Popcorn I'm going to you. Go. <laughs> go, Hyacinth. Get the Put it you're ready. Hi, I'm Hyacinth. Uh, I'm Art Klein, the Yellow Ranger. Uh, party boy, Fennec. Fennec. I was going for a word there, and I don't know what it was. Imagine words. Um, yeah, and uh, I have the uh, Golden Stag Spirit. Oh, yeah, popcorn. I said that. Um, Kit. All right. Hey, y'all. It's uh, Kitsune60. Um, I am playing Best Doggo, um, Morgan. She is the Pink Ranger as well as um, themed after Cerberus. So uh, welcome, and we're glad you're here. Meg, take over. Hello, everybody. I am Meg Mysteria, and tonight I am bringing back Sarka, our local weird girl and green ranger who is somehow the veteran of all of these people but i don't know what's coming up so let's throw it over to fail who's gonna take us in the scene uh well as we last time you guys fought uh went up against the you know another henshin who looked a little bit like someone familiar to zarka um you guys had seen pictures of him inside of the henshin at go go pizza joint um, and you also had a little bit of an encounter with your good friend, Enigma. Uh, so that's where we start the scene. That's kind of where we start with you guys uh, all kind of standing around in the parking lot, looking at some of the destruction that this other henchin had made, um, trying to kind of wrap your heads around what just happened. Um, and, and you know, you guys just saw another henchin um, that looked like someone from the pictures. It was Vance. Um, from from the pictures inside and from Zarka's past, so uh, take it away. So, did that happen last go round? Yes. I think that was right. in character. Yeah. Um, which part? Uh, you fighting the beetle. Oh, the ladybug. Yes. Yeah. I fought the ladybug. Um, so I knew about the vibrations and that you had to kind of go for a weak spot, although it was a little bit different this time. So glad I had more people. I mean, personally, I think we could pass. Gonna say it. Yeah. Uh, he still has his trident out, right? Yeah. That is so cool. And she kind of walks over and is kind of looking at the weapon. Yeah, I think he tries to spin it a few times, but then kind of clumsily just almost drops it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, certainly something, huh? <laughs> Do these um, have their own pockets somewhere? <laughs> no, I think we just... Where, where we imagine it? pockets and they appear. I think we just That's think hard enough work. and they go away. Yeah, like but... into our souls or something, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, I don't know about you, but I uh, look over the bow in my hands. I don't think it'll fit in a pocket. It's, it's like a soul pocket. Just put you it over really your hard. shoulder. Or that. Do that, too. She might know. I would say do the thing she said. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. The suits will the suits will melt to adjust to wherever, however you want to carry them. Thanks, hmm. in part two, factory. Fair yeah. enough. And then I guess in that case, uh, Dix will kind of, again, try to, like, clumsily spin his around and, like, place it on his back. He doesn't rest there, kind of just like quickly vanishes in a, in a gout of flame. He's just like, huh, well, that's cute. Very cool. Very cool. What if I can wear mine as like antlers? <laughs> I mean, like breaking half and just. 
I mean this. I'm gonna ask you all a question, and please do not take it the wrong way. Are you guys high? <laughs> Have you I know this is a really surreal experience, but have you met Art? That's like his whole Wait. stick. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you a Fed? Is that what you're asking? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, I just want to know so that I know how to deal with this. Why in that case, yes. We should go inside. Much... We're standing in the middle of yeah, the street. Yeah, yeah. Inside. We All right, just... let's do that then. Yeah. I'm surprised there isn't like a camera crew or something out here already. Let inside. I'm surprised there's no crowd. We just we look so fucking cool. Where are the fans? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Inside. <laughs> in, in, Fine. inside. Is, in the distance this... you hear uh police sirens kind of getting closer. Now ah, there's the fan club. Yep, inside, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> is this a bad time to be high? Just yeah, henshin and the uh, the outfit drops. Oh. Guess we'll dive behind a dumpster first, and then just henshin, and then just like, oh right, I'm not suit anymore. And then I cover my face because if I can't you don't see you me. don't have to say henshin for the suit to go away. Oh wait, you don't. We were well, told we that. don't know that. You never told us that. <laughs> yes, you do know that. You say henshin to make the suit come up, but then you think about it, and the suit goes away. Okay, okay. Well, listen, focus. you don't get to listen, choose to be the group brain last cell. Time. You don't get to choose to be the group brain cell and then expect us to do intelligent things, all right? That's not how this that's not how this works. You got you can't I never claim to be the group brain cell. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this is going so well, guys. It be better, better. We all, <laughs> everyone quickly just slinks right back into the pizza place. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh back inside. Yeah, uh, you guys will notice that Locke and Ross are basically they're just kind of like arguing back and forth. Ross is pointing to some printouts. Uh, Locke is kind of just like shrugging him off. Um, the place is cleared out. He cleared out right before the attack. Um, Ow. Factory is also kind of like you can see a little monitor behind both of them just kind of like with a dumbfounded face on its screen, just kind of, like, looking at both of them, like, I don't even know what's going on here anymore. Um, basically, if, if you guys are, like, listening in, um, you can kind of hear that, like, Ross is arguing about dates and times. Um, and... Uh. And Locke is just kind of like, no, that never happened. No, that's not going to happen. Ah, they're going over the timeline. Gotcha. Yeah, see, so that part's still confusing to me. You know, the... Is this a recurring thing? Is this a conversation that's happened before? Mm-hmm. Every time, <laughs> every time something happens, they basically break down the timelines and argue back and forth. About what might be coming next, basically? Yeah. Well, I'm glad they're on the case, because I sure as fuck ain't. Yep, same. All right. Right. So, yeah, just kind of walks over towards the um, the counter. Just kind of the very kind of heavy thunk, 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 thunk of her more platform boots as she walks. And just kind of hands down on the counter. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> Seconded. Yeah, both of them just kind of like they do that like teenage girl like attitude like head turn they're just like what do you mean what the fuck what was that and why why was enigma or whatever why was he here yeah gestures vaguely at world well <laughs> the uh the ladybug was part of you know the invasion force you guys saw down at the mines uh enigma we never know like and he kind of looks shuffles through some papers and he pulls out a pen and he circles the date and you notice that it, it was today's date but it doesn't say that the you know the ladybug attacked so he's like hastily like scratching in some notes there um that didn't happen last time around so uh, so is the timeline or whatever the fuck this is like accelerated or 
what's going on? Uh, we don't know if it's accelerated or if it's just different. Because last time when the team came together, there was only three of them. Um, and they ended up fighting against, I believe it was a wasp in the 1980s. But you guys haven't time traveled. And so he's just like writing notes like all over this paper. Why are they yep. always bugs? I don't know. Why are you a human? It, they're henching coins and the, they're working with mantis people. It's a thematic. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, you get a point. Yeah. I mean, I the big that. ones branded list. Also, why are, you, why are you guys arguing about this out here? There's a whole conspiracy board downstairs. I look at oh, it, wait, I there is? Yeah, the conspiracy Imagine board. me knowing that. There's too many, too many strings on the board. We needed uh, clear space. Uh, everything, wait a second. Everything on the conspiracy board points back to old gods and Enigma, but we can't figure out how it ties into now. Yeah, I hate both of those things. Sorry. Nope, not a big fan. Okay. So what do we do now? Um. Ooh, ooh, can I guess? Can I guess? Ooh, I got it. Sure. <laughs> Wait for the next thing to happen? Shots. Yeah, I... <laughs> or that. <laughs> and, with, and with that, mm. Ross kind of <laughs> looks you guys up and down, and then he reaches under the counter, and he, he just slams onto the counter a bottle of Jaeger. Yeah, I'm 17. I'm down with Jaeger. Why not? <clears throat> okay. And, and the look on Locke's face, and he just like looks at Locke, and he's like, look, if it keeps him quiet, and then he goes back over the... Uh... Can, I, can I tell you guys a secret? I did the mm -hmm. eyeball thing, and I saw the bottle. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm really bad at keeping secrets. Oh, God. I love that. Well, listen, I'm not the one who decided to make the Guardians of the Universe teenagers, so if you're going to let us drink, then we're drinking. I mean, yeah, I got no arguments there. I, it's more hey, if you, could, if you could protect the universe, you could have a couple shots. I think that's... I think, I think Dex just, like, there. reaches for a bottle, then freezes, and is like, is that what being right feels like? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. And then, yeah, I'm going for shots. Fuck it, let's do it. Okay. All right. So besides know, getting drunk, what are we actually doing? What's, what's the actual next step in the plan <laughs> besides getting drunk? I think it's conspiracy theories. Well, the next oh. step in the plan is figuring out if they're going to strike here again or if they're going to attack a different timeline. Um, well, aren't we just useless if they attack a different timeline? It, didn't all of the timelines sink down to... One, you that's what the singularity like, was. All of reality sink down to one, but there's still branches in the timelines. Fantastic. Hmm. Okay. So, so wait, hold on. So we're going to break... <laughs> look, I don't know that we have the time to break down all of the multiversal theories out there. Please don't. <laughs> I am not very smart. You know, I think we're going to have Dex break down all the multiversal theories for us. <laughs> Okay, so, it, imagine you have this mango, yes? Okay, <laughs> just, you, you've got our it'll, attention. It, it'll just freeze right there. Just. <laughs> I think you've had enough of this, just kind of dragging the bottle across the counter away from him. It's, my mango theory will reside on its own. It'll just fall back into the chair. <laughs> so as you're, as you're leaning back... Um, a monitor kind of like pops up out of the counter and it's just like, but Dex, what about the mango? <laughs> so, 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 okay. So, so from what I understand from a PV special I saw once, the way the multiverse works is there's two thoughts on this. One thought is you have a mango and you can either eat the mango or not eat the mango. In any other case, the multiverse splits. In one universe, you ate the mango. In another one, you didn't. And everything that happens because of that just goes on. 
But people make lots of choices all the time, every day. I, in particular, make plenty of bad ones. <laughs> Thus, there's like a gavrillion, billion, jillion multiverses. That's the first thought, or at least timelines. The other thought is you take the mango. Yes. Consider every other alteration that could be made to that mango. It could be a universe where mangoes are green or a universe <clears throat> where mangoes are a vegetable or a universe where mangoes are illegal. Any possible variation you could think of of that mango is a timeline that exists somewhere for a reason. I thought that was universes, not timelines. So, maybe I don't know. I'm trying. I'm I'm working my brain real hard right now. Love you. Got you. Got to. You got to give me some credit. Okay. No, no, no. You're fine. You're doing great. I think there's steam coming out of my ears. <laughs> the the face on the monitor is just kind of like two like lines and then like a third like long line underneath like it's just kind of like blanked out all right then anyway what if we narrowed it down to for the timelines are here what are we looking at uh well we're looking at you're here but you're also in the 1980s um you are so it's very, very possible, Zarka, that you could end up being your own grandmother, or you could end up running into yourself. That's um, bad. What? Yeah. That's one of those paradigms, right? Well, I haven't run into Paradox. myself yet, so... That's what I said. Doesn't, like, the world explode? Really? That sounds cool as fuck. Um, all of our data doesn't really point to the world exploding. It does oh. point to possible implosion... But it also points to, uh, like, a black hole-like rift in reality being torn open. I thought implode was a fancy way to say explode. Okay, you know what? I don't... Okay, right. So what I'm so... hearing is we need to avoid that at all cost. Yes, That's, that. I mean, who knows? I'm a, it I'm a sounds like you would know! I'm a, pain I'm a painter and an intergalactic police chief. I'm not a fucking scientist. Do you know a scientist? Uh, we could we could try to call one, but I don't know that they're gonna answer. Are we calling oh, Bill Nye? Is that what we're doing here? Do we just scream Bill, Bill, Bill really loud and hope he shows up? Is that how this works? I don't. It's been a long time since I've seen Bill Nye. Also, can we say that? Is that like copyrighted? Can we say that on broadcast? I don't think it is, unless Disney owns it. All right. Oh God, I hope not. We're oh we're fucked if Disney owns that. We're already, like we're already copyright strict if that happens. Like. We, was, we had it happened 30 PBS. seconds ago. You know, maybe it is. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to behave now, guys. Okay. Panic sets in, just like. <laughs> right, so back, back, in, back in the universe, unbreaking the fourth wall. Um, so, okay, so if we don't know what timeline they're going to hit, you said the team last time could time travel? It wasn't so much that they they could time travel as it was they mistakenly time traveled. Um, yeah, it was in a base that the alternate version of Jace had us brought to. Uh huh. So, so simple, simpler they, question. They they technically can time travel. Yeah, time ah. time travel wasn't really something uh, we thought was possible. Um, we didn't really put a lot of science into that. Have you guys seen your coins and how how amazing the science is on you being able to you know transform into these intergalactic police force with uh, special powers? Yeah, no, and, that was pretty. That was know, pretty fucking cool. There's I assumed it was magic. Limitless knowledge that gets pass through these coins to you from, you know, the various races and species that have used, you know, these coins. Uh, we put a lot more thought into that than we did time travel, to be honest. Uh, right. And right. And, be and before the singularity, like all 
you know, societies. Our scientists had a problem. They spent a lot of time looking for pills to make hair grow. So. Okay, then. We kind of squandered our science, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, so, uh, easier question. Until we have some what point in timeline or whatever figured out, what can we do to help? Or uh, I mean anything it's kind of a, a situation where you guys can chill downstairs in the base there's a training rooms there's gonna be you know quarters for you to sleep in there's a kitchen up here you'll work for the shop i guess we'll get you a paycheck whoa 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 <laughs> you just randomly threw that one in there boss let's slow it down some <laughs> i'm not serving already this. worked for yeah. you intergalactic police thing hello yeah, part of your responsibility is just slinging pizza on, you know, busy nights. I'm not saying that in the contract. Anyone. What was that? <laughs> I uh, want to see that in the contract. A, a TOS pops up and, like, just, like, hovering in front of your face. It's almost like a, like a hollow screen just, like, right in front of you. And as it goes down through, you'll notice that it just says accepted. Um... And then, like, in parentheses, it says accepted when, you know, you uh, did your first transformation. <laughs> well, shit, there it is. All right. Hey, guys, let's look at pizzas. <laughs> it's in the contract. Fireball, slinging pizza. That's a fair balance. I mean, mm -hmm. we've, also, we've also been trying to uh, set up our own... time travel device um we haven't had too much luck uh, i think we were able to send a couple rabbits back in time um we weren't able to bring the rabbits back and the mice that we were able to bring back were drastically mutated so i don't know how it would work on human test subjects yeah i was about to say sounds it doesn't like sound like it's... Had... well it sounds like you haven't had my luck so, I don't know. I mean, let's uh, say we try. I have like my don't. really hard and see if it'll work. Do what? Like, uh, well, it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that, does it? It's gonna open your th he's going to become woke. It's going to open his third eye. Just, just try to like see like the correct answer. He's going to understand. You wouldn't be able to see that until it was like you were downstairs in the caution room because danger room is copyrighted. Um... <laughs> In the in the caution room, uh, and it was you know ten seconds from happening. Hmm. Gotcha. Well, we'll scrub that for now, I guess. Yep. Uh, in the meantime, so... there's stuff like investigations we can do reconnaissance. We've been trying to get some more information about the mines, but we kind of saw the state of the school. They've been taking people like that all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should definitely probably get ourselves some more info. That word you just said, the R word that I've heard before and I know what it means, that sounds like it's an important thing to do. Reconnaissance? That one. Oh, I heard Renaissance. I also heard something. Renaissance is actually my favorite period in art, but no, reconnaissance. Um, I don't know what either of those words mean, so proceed. Oh, now that you mention it, Art, there is a Renaissance fair uh, happening this weekend if you wanted to scope that out. There's a Ren fair? Oh my god. A what where? A Ren Fair. Ren Fair. Oh, okay, so when someone says a what where, it's when they don't explain please for me. Alright. Uh <laughs> Dex basically it's think of it as LARPing. Do you know what LARPing is, Dex? I heard someone say that I was doing that online once, but I don't know what that means. Alright, it's it's basically a bunch of grown adults dress up like they're from Dungeons and Dragons. And pretend that they're living, you know, in a fantasy world or in the Renaissance period. Uh, you can get a giant turkey leg. You can walk around and degrade each other. Uh, you can joust with the king. You had me a turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> so when's this Ren Dare or whatever? That is happening this weekend. Oh. I've never had a chance to go to the Renaissance Fair. 
Uh, we don't wait, really have... wait. Do we have to dress up or whatever too? It's it's required. Everybody dresses up. It's the it's one of the best As parts. What? Of it. It's like medieval garb, so like knights and you know that kind of stuff. You could also huh. do you could also do fantasy creatures. Some people do that. Yeah. Also that. I'll be a unicorn. Wait, no, that's a... yeah. No, no, that's that's a fantasy creature. Yeah. I think I have an idea. Uh, actually, unicorns are quite real. Um, we have one in the lab. We were going to send it back stop. to time. Wait, stop. can I have it? Can I have nope. it? Can I have it? Nope. We got to stop. We got to stop. <laughs> we are already what? seven levels too deep. That's about level nine to 11. And I think we need to pull back before we end up on like, you know, I just, I, I appreciate you sharing that with us. But I feel like maybe just maybe if we don't step back to about level five or six, we're gonna find ourselves on on a plane of existence we're not capable of operating on, you know. The last time I opened a door here, I had some cathartic horror shit happen, and frankly, I'm not really down with repeating that experience, sir. So, frankly, if we could just go do something normal for like five minutes, I'd be really happy. You know okay. what? You mentioned that there were training rooms, right? That's that's what these coins do. They open up all the doors downstairs. Why don't we go take a tour? Uh, oh, yeah. All right. I'm drunk. Definitely. I'm going to shoot attacks. Let's get down there. Honestly, that sounds like a really good, good idea. Also, sorry, did not mean to cut you off, Sarka. This is... That the, she's... We'll just say it's in character. She's just intermittently trying to say something, and then it's just going over. She's like, uh... And then it comes back over to, I'm drunk, whatever. Like, can, can you hand me your phone, please? Uh, sure. Hands phone. All, all of you. Oh, I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> Promise you won't open it. I, I'm what? probably going to put my phone number in it, but oh, that's oh it. fair enough. Well, in that case, Dex will open his phone specifically, go to his contacts and open a new one before handing his phone over. <laughs> it's like just commandeering everyone's phones oh, before they go downstairs. Paranoid to be like. <laughs> De Dex, you just hear like you hear it like in the back of your head. You're just hearing. I've seen everything in your phone, Dex. <laughs> <laughs> I can explain every single one of those. Okay. I, they, I don't need an explanation. That's. Uh, I'm just listen. Okay. I just. Anyway, it's a nice alternative form of income that I feel like people who are confident in their body should explore if they want people to explore and, 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 and see the content they feel comfortable showing. And I think, frankly, that I have a pretty, I've, I got a pretty good looking form. So, <laughs> any case. You, you just kind of hear in the back of your head, and you, you know, and you know it's factory. You just go, mmm. And then he's <laughs> like, Dex, I'm not talking about the pictures. I mean the video. I saw the one involving a man in a glass jar. Okay, so listen. I was sent that as a prank, and I was holding it to send to someone else for a later prank. I have an alibi. I can that. I was with you. You're a fucking factory. Mind your goddamn business. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. I need an doll. Wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on, stop, stop, pause, pause. It dawns on Zarka for a minute, like, oh no, I'm the adult. <laughs> this is why I have everyone's phones. Uh, this is, I, all right, just stay out of my text messages, all right? Mind your fucking business. Stupid fucking factory. <laughs> fucking nosy ass building. You're going to taunt factory <laughs> to the point that factory puts you back in the... Uh... The oh, not fun place. I'm sorry. I just had my fucking First Amendment rights violated. Maybe I'm angry about it. <laughs> oh no. Whatever. Let's go blow some shit up. Okay. <laughs> Extra on everybody. Happy to be here. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's go take. A tour before anything else happens. <laughs> uh, All right, so 
Locke and uh, Ross lead you guys downstairs back into that main computer room. Um, you look around they the monitors. The Galaga machine. <laughs> all sorts of different stuff just kind of going wild. Um, all sorts of doors all around the room. Um, one clearly labeled caution room. Uh, then there's, you know, sleeping quarters. One that just says storage room, and it has, like, like caution tape over it. Um, then there's, like, Ross's quarters is just another room that's just kind of there. Uh, supplies. You know, basically what you would think would be in, like, a basic, like, training facility sort of area. Um, one room says spaceships, uh, but, you know, if you were to go in there, you probably wouldn't find anything. <clears throat> It, it, it has a, a sign on the door that just says, do not enter. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. That sounds like exactly where I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah, I was about to say, Dex, did you see that there? <laughs> do, actually. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Big brain Dex idea. I'm going to walk up to the door. See what are you thinking? Can exactly. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, I walk up to the door and I grab the handle and then use your fancy third eye thingy and see what I would see if I open the door and then tell me what's there so we know what's in the room. Can I do that? Can we do that? <laughs> um, Don't you only have your third eye power when your suit's active? I have no well, idea. You can know we, we activate our suits in here? I mean, you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch you. I'm gonna watch you guys do this. I mean, you can activate your suits in there. <laughs> We're fucking doing this. Let's go. Power. Oh wait. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Dex is gonna like, like bro, like bromantically link arms with Art. Just be like, all right, here we go, bro, man. It's just like headshot. It's like <laughs> suit up in his big like flaming art suit. It's like, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know why I put my suit on too, but we're doing this. All right. Just gonna walk up to the door. And I'm just gonna grab my handle and just look back at art really intently. Both of you roll me a d20. Oh dear. Seven. Three. <laughs> oh, rolling so hot as, tonight. As art tries to use his uh, use his power for that, it kind of like almost like he gets feedback, um, and so it's like he gets hit with just like static, and he kind of like stumbles back and kind of faints like just kind of like falls backwards and as you grab the doorknob and go to push the door open uh you hear mm, in the back of your head and then <laughs> as I... you get the door open you just see one of those faces from the room that uh closing the door <laughs> <laughs> yeah can i can i make sure that he doesn't fall oh yeah you're that's fine So what did we learn, guys? To roll higher. You don't get to have fun in here. <laughs> so. Oh, you can. Since... You can keep trying the door. I, I, it may change every time you try. No, no, I get it. It's all work and no play in the intergalactic space cops or whatever. Fine. I, <laughs> look, so Bob Ross is like, oh, you want to see the spaceships? And so he walks over and he opens the door and Bob it Ross? opens up and you guys can see a hangar. Whoa. We have spaceships? Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, I don't know that they're fully functional. Uh, they've been down here for a while. We haven't really used them. I don't know if power okay. cells have drained. Right. Or... Okay, uh, okay, okay. Fireballs and and super space cop costumes and training rooms. There are too many incredible fucking things happening today. We're going to revisit these later after we go blow things up. Thank yeah. you for showing me this. You are a wonderful man. Next one, grab go... it, reach up and kiss his face. <laughs> Did you just kiss <laughs> yes, he did. Um, I am gonna go and look at the uh, the resting quarters. Is what you called them, I think. Yeah. So you open the door and it opens up to like a hallway, and there's doors for rooms on each side. The very last, like at the very end of the hallway, um, is another door, and on like the door, like spray painted on, it looks like it says factory, and then there's <laughs> doors down the hall um on each side so that you, and if you look into those doors and you see like oh hey there's rooms in here that we can use okay are well, they color code serves a warning <laughs> uh no but if you if you basically like if you go and you choose a room it adapts to you um factory will um, adapt your color to you. 
I love that. Cool. That's oh, that's hilarious. Well, it adapts to your I personality, think... so. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah. As we're walking down the hall, I think Dex will just like noticing that like uh, that Morgan caught Art as he was tripping over, just like lightly nudge him, just hands to yourself, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who made me fall. How was that <laughs> my fault? I wanted to use my third eye. You thought it was a good idea. I'm high. <laughs> so am I. But you didn't admit it. <laughs> am I ever not? Okay, anyway, whatever. <laughs> you saw my text. Mind your fucking business. I saw your text? It just eyes him back and forth for a bit and then walks away. <laughs> Are you hearing? Has no, doesn't care if you have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> you kind of, you kind of hear, Hyacinth, did you want to see the text? <laughs> or, uh, Art, sorry. Art, did you want to see Wait a minute. Dex's oh, text? Okay. <laughs> We're breaking <laughs> the like, metaverse, guys! <laughs> yes. yes. <clears throat> so as you say yes, you just get like, your phone just goes insane. You just start seeing text flood in. That uh, like that Dex is the phone people. that Zarga's holding. <laughs> why, why why are you like this? Why why have you done this to me? All right, do I not have to describe what these texts are? <laughs> no. Okay, because I'm not going to. Fantastic. I'm glad. I don't I think I want to know. actually know. Honestly. Good. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad we're going to leave that there. So, yeah. After he says that, Art's phone just kind of goes blank. Like they all just kind of like go back down the screen. I don't know what it was, but it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I think Morgan had the right idea. We should probably get some sleep, huh? Sure. So, yeah, she's going to pick the one, the first door on the left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go the one next. Why not? Sure. Describe your rooms, guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so as she kind of touches the door, it changes to a pink, but whenever she opens it, it is very much like the interior is kind of like dark and kind of gothic with like a chandelier coming down with like lace and stuff kind of all over it. And um, there's various different like instruments just kind of around and so yeah just kind of that aesthetic i feel like dex's room is probably pretty straightforward it's like a, a pretty big bed right in the in the middle it's got like you know like orange sheets with like a white lighting on the ed edge of them uh it's got like an overhang like an overcast uh sort of thing over it it's really simplistic like a slight hang down drape it's really just uh, basic white in color uh, there's a mirror on the inside of the upper part of it because why wouldn't there be? Uh, yeah. There's uh, a pretty big TV on the opposite wall with a gaming console that's nondescript that has a bunch of controllers around it because why not? Uh, a few screens on the other one. Uh, the walls kind of have a bunch of different like random-ish graffiti patterns in like various orange and white shades that kind of just like all kind of blend with the general color scheme of the room. And overall, it's just kind of pretty like a place to chill out. It's like a, like, put, like a bean bag or two in the corners, things like that. You know, general teenage boys room. <laughs> I touch the door to my room and it's white and padded and all fluffy. <laughs> what the fuck? For real? <laughs> Set the message personality. So I, I, I step back. Am I crazy? And then walk in. It's a normal room. <laughs> <laughs> Only as crazy as you want to be, baby boy. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So you've all decided to take to your rooms. Wait, we're missing one. Wait, yeah. we didn't shoot each other yet. Oh, you guys are oh, hey. just Hold now noticing you're missing one? Room. Oh. Oh, my room? Duh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so hers is actually probably, the door is actually probably just open. And it's like you walk past it and it's, more of an art studio than it is an actual room. There's like a bed futon kind of thing in the corner, but overall it's, you know how she brought up the conspiracy board? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it's kind of like that. Just <laughs> all over the walls, the ceiling. There's a bunch of different art, like drawings, um, different artwork, um, paintings. You can even see like some of them. There are all kinds of different styles. It's, and if you pass by, you could swear like maybe some of the impressionist Van Gogh stuff might be moving, almost like things are shifting. Um, but a lot of it is stationary and it does have like dates and marked time. And there's also just pages that she's got tacked on the walls as well. Mm -hmm. So just a bunch of art supplies all scattered around the floor. There's a enclosure in the corner that has a, uh, uh, albino python in it. <gasps> that's so cool. Art would think that's cool. Hyacinth is freaking out. <laughs> Aww. No snakes. No snakes. No snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> because it's funny. I'll try to be better. <laughs> All right. Uh,. If you guys want to check, uh, you can go check Zeke's room. He's already asleep, and it's just a bed. He's just chilling. There's no, nothing special. It's like almost like a, just like a black room with a bed in the middle, and Zeke's just asleep. I'm He's too get tired to construct it. <laughs> that is fair. Like, I'm just going to get in his bed and kiss his cheek. Just good night, sweet prince, and then get up again. And <laughs> oh, my <laugh>. God. <laughs> and as you're, as you're coming out of his room, you'll notice that the door that says factory is gone. Um, and there's another door there now, and it's, like, slightly cracked open, and it, if you kind of, like, like what you can see through the crack almost just looks like Endless Cosmos. That's, does it have a name in the door or anything? Nope. Whose door is well, this? Well, one way to find out! No! <laughs> Grabs back at the... <laughs> Listen, you just, the place keeps having enticing shit for me to look at and then punishing me for looking at it. And frankly, I hate it here. <laughs> You're not Dude, getting sucked into space. Just saying. Be kind of cool. You never know. Last time it was fucked spaceships. I'm taking the stance of not agreeing with him on any more things because I get hurt. <laughs> So, You've uh, turned what did my you... own ally against me, Factory. I hope you're happy. Uh, what did you say, Meg? Factory kind of chimes in, I didn't put that door there. What? Okay, it's... turn to the only veteran here. Zarka, fuck is this? Zarka has never seen that door. That's not I... good. Don't Anything like know. it? Now, the next question I'm going to ask is, you said it was, like, outer space? Like, yeah, infinite like, cosmos kind of thing? Yeah, what well, you can see, it looks just like endless cosmos, just like an endless sea of stars. Uh, the next question I'm going to ask is if the coins I have are active. No. Okay. Yeah, I have no so. idea of what that is or where it could go. Hmm. So question, so, real quick. Those suits that we have with the coins, are those vacuum proof? I mean, they won't get sucked up by a vacuum. Yeah, that's... No, no, no. As in, we won't die if we get sucked into the vacuum of space. Only one way to find out. I don't want to find out that way. <laughs> All right, cowards, I'm on it. And I'll pull the coin out again. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go! <laughs> and just hold it up. <laughs> no, you all won't do it. And everyone's gonna sit here and ask questions. And I'm gonna be the one person who's bold enough to find out. And if I die, I'd say that it was epic. Headshin! And I'll put my suit on. What if it wasn't epic? <laughs> As you are, so are you, are, you then, gonna, are you gonna go I'm through gonna the walk, door? I'm gonna walk. In response oh to Art's question, I'm gonna walk up and like just like put my hands in the door. And the moment Art says, like, what if it wasn't epic? Look back, then lie, and I'll fling <laughs> the door open. <laughs> Do you go through the threshold? Like, you walk through the Absolutely. door? Absolutely. All right, so as you walk through the door, it slams shut behind you. Fuck! Well, <laughs> you just killed yourself. Been campaign, guys. I'm dead. And you <laughs> are kind of, like, floating in this, like, sea of stars. 
and the rest of the crew is just kind of like standing in the hallway staring at where that door was and that door is gone sweet i'm dead awesome mm, love that that's not good <laughs> all right hold on factory what was that what where is he i don't know i didn't put that door there that this wasn't me this time i swear Oh, boy. It wasn't my turn to watch them. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Dex, <laughs> as you're kind of just floating in this, like, void of stars, uh, you see a figure. It's a, a figure of, a, like, a little girl, all in white. Um... And you feel extremely sad. Like, you just feel this, like, deep sadness inside of you. And yeah, think... she kind of looks yeah. you up and down. And she holds out a flute. Uh, I think, yeah, that's kind of like, for a very rare moment, kind of like sombers up a bit. Just, hey, you, you all right? What's, what's that? She doesn't, she doesn't say anything, but she's got, like, just these big, I'm like, you look at her eyes, and her eyes are just, like, black. Like, you, like, sink into those eyes, and the longer you look into those eyes, the, the sadder you feel. And she holds up the flute, like, as she's, like, trying to give it to you. Well, I, oh, okay, I guess I don't want to make a little girl sad. I'll take the flute. <laughs> so as you pick up the flute and take it from her, you're back in the hallway. Do I still have the flute? <laughs> yeah, you, you have the flute. Uh, so does he just randomly pop in beside us? Yeah, he's just he's just back there. <laughs> what the fuck? What the... Uh, hi. Is hi. You, is you what the, the fuck? I think I just met God. Is he holding the flute? This is important. Yeah, you. If if you're looking, you could. Unless he's like pocketed it, he's got. The no, no, I'm. In his hands. He's definitely still holding it in front of just in, in both hands. Just. I, I just shake my head. Never take the flute. <laughs> Dude, I met God. Why don't I not take the flute? It's a God flute. So, uh, Morgan and Art, you both, as you're looking at the flute, get flashes of some characters that seem rather familiar to you. Um, <laughs> wonder why. <laughs> and you suddenly kind of like during this flash you realize that you both have a new power for your suits <laughs> what powers what powers do we get i know you, so morgan you learn that you can kind of like bend and reflect reflect light in certain ways Ooh. and hyacinth you realize that you can kind of control wind to a degree <gasps> we get our old characters at the back home oh, baby <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe it's good they touch the flute. I don't know. <laughs> I I have no I, idea. I uh, I can. And Dex, hello, I, I alternate lives. Dex, <laughs> you get the flash of a very very annoying speedster. <laughs> <laughs> you basically like live live out this whole speedster's life for a minute. Uh, basically, him being chased down by the police after doing something in an alleyway with some homeless people. Um, <clears throat> him being knocked out by the organization um, and put into the back of a trunk and taken to the real life, the actual factory, like where he lived, like it, you're, it's muddled your mind and you're absolutely confused by it. What in the, ah, who in the, I have a strange feeling, wait, my third eye opens that we've all felt that way. <laughs> <laughs> Does Zarka get anything? Zarka already has knowledge of certain things. Um, Fair. Okay, so <laughs> anyone else just see somebody else? Uh, yeah. Did uh, you know you're someone? Huh? Uh, did, uh, did it's you not someone, someone I actively recognize. No one I've met before. Art? I told you not to touch the flute. <laughs> <laughs> maybe after the fact but i still said it that makes me wise right 
Okay, right. Falling back on veteran advice here. Zarka, to repeat, the fuck? <laughs> um, I think, oh shoot, there was something. I think she hard cut there out. There was, no, she's <laughs> legitimately trying to do things. Like, that was one of the last reports from the factory, wasn't it? That they showed, there was a bunch of new stuff that showed up. Out of nowhere? Yep. I'm assuming like a different time. It was, so, it was this group of people that mm -hmm. were brought in by the organization <laughs> and they were pretty much drafted, said, hey, work for us or you're stuck here anyway. Um, and they were collecting artifacts. And the last report was really weird. They got, they met some outer interplanar beings and got artifacts from them. Did one of them look like a little girl, all white? I think so. Yeah. There's a few They're different better. ones. They were all like a bunch of different emotions. So there was like sadness, there was anger, Stuff like that, if I remember right. Yeah, well, I got sadness from the little girl I saw before she gave me the flute. That's why I took it. I thought she was sad I didn't take it. And how does that make you feel? I don't know. <laughs> I guess well, this, that... This all just got very complicated. It wasn't already? Oh, no, no, it was. It's now more so. Hey, listen, sorry, guys. I hate to not be the usual jokester, but I, this is a lot. Can I just get some rest? No. Yeah, I think I think we should probably all rest for a bit. Yeah, sorry. Just kind of weird seeing someone else's whole life for a sec. Yeah. Sorry, and I think he'll just immediately turn and walk towards his room. It's been a weird day. Yeah. For some reason, I wanted to sing that to It's a Hard Knock Life, and it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Does anybody uh, need to tell their parents that they're okay? <laughs> my well, parents I, are out of the state, so doesn't matter. Art's mom got eaten by a giant mantis, so... <laughs> and dad just goes out of town so I can do parties, so... Uh, Dex just stops at the threshold of the room, just turns back, and again, kind of a bit coldly, just no. And then goes into his room and kind of closes the door. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Listen, that was the wrong question to ask right now, TBH. It's, it's a question she was gonna ask. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair question. The the response is interesting because that means there's shit, but that there's shit going on with that. It's almost like I wrote a backstory. <laughs> almost, yeah. That's too much effort. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, everybody, everybody goes to their rooms and lays down for the night. I'm already in mine. Yep. I might go to the shooting range first. <laughs> the training area. That's what I was called. Yeah, I mean, if that's where you want to go, you can go and, and do some training. Yeah. I just have music playing and I'm working on something in my room with the door open. Fair enough. Yeah. This so, feels like a really solid scene for us to possibly get a break in if we could, maybe. Yeah, we put in an, an intermission real quick. Oh, sweet. That might be a good idea. Yeah. All right. So as the night carries on, you, you know, you eventually. I'll fall asleep back in your respective rooms. Dex has an existential crisis over a flute that was given to him by a mysterious little girl. It was God, I'm pretty sure, still. Um, mm. And with that, we are going to cut to a brief break. We will be back in about five. We are back from intermission. All right, so you guys all kind of faded to black as it went to as you all went to sleep. Um, you wake up in the morning, still in the you know secret HQ underneath the Hedge and a Go Go Pizza Joint. Mm -hmm. uh, all your rooms nice and just how you like them um, except for Dex's has a a creepy flute with a 
little girl in white just kind of standing there in his room when he looks over at the flute. Does she talk if I talk to her at all? No, she just kind of watches you. Wait, she's still there? Oh, yeah, yeah I think Dex just noticed that. And I think just taking get in stride because he's kind of already in a pretty shit mood. I think he just, like, will sit up and spend most of the night just, like, talking to her. Even if she won't speak back, just, like, ranting about things he's thinking about. Yep. She just kind of she just kind of listens and just kind of like watches and just kind of blinks every now and then. Fair enough. Not that creepy. Could be worse. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess the next morning comes and I guess we all leave our rooms. I think Dex probably gets up pretty late because he's usually a late waker if it's not a school day and even on most school days. Uh, so I think he'll just kind of just eventually shamble his way into. Is it like a? An assembly area or like a like an eating area, a place we could like gather up to get some food in the morning or like where's what's where's what's what's the layout? What we got? Uh food's upstairs. Well then, I, I guess I'm say, going upstairs. Isn't pizza. Well yeah, anything that's not is there is there anything besides pizza upstairs or is there only pizza? I'm not against pizza for breakfast, don't get me wrong. There's there's specifically breakfast pizza on the menu. <laughs> okay, well I I think I'm just gonna have regular pizza because breakfast pizza sounds like it's just extra work. This is pizza with breakfast extra steps. Pizza, I, breakfast pizza is not great nine times out of ten when I've had it. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a thing I'd want. I think I just want pizza personally. Like if I'm gonna have pizza, just give me, just give me pizza. Like you know, you know, I'm gonna have pizza breakfast. I want like pizza, pizza. You know, like give me my usual toppings on my pizza. Don't don't mm-hmm. fucking breakfastize my pizza. It's pizza, you know. <laughs> Fair mm-hmm. enough. Fair anyway, enough. After after having a, a bit of a grumbling rant about breakfast pizza and and finding some non breakfast pizza, I think Dex will probably just. Uh, he won't be mo- that moody. I, I guess he'll definitely go find the others. Uh, and I think he just definitely just, w- like, his, his greetings, like, walking up, sitting down, just... So the little girl's still here. The oh. one you met whenever you went into the weird galaxy room. Yeah, God. Doesn't talk much. Probably because she's sad. Mm. Yeah, I got that view. Are you okay? You seemed pretty out of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's a long day, a lot of stuff going on. We all saw the people's lives. I uh, it just figured it was best if I got some rest. Yeah, fine. <laughs> um, do you like have to do something with the little girl? Like, are you also still holding the flute? Is that why she's still here, or is it just always now? Oh, I brought the flute with me, but I left it in my room. I didn't think I should bring it with. You just kind of hear, oh. you kind of hear from the back, you hear a lock, and he's just kind of like, he leans around the corner of, like, the kitchen, and he's like, wait, you touched the flute? Was I not supposed to touch the flute? Dude, I don't know. That little girl's been showing up for weeks now, and I keep telling her to go <laughs> away. You know, these are the kind of things that would have been wonderful to prompt us on before we start hanging out here for long periods of time. I mean, honestly, I thought I was just losing my mind because nobody else saw her. Awesome. Well. Huh. You know what? Let's get that out of the way right now. I'm going to go get the flute, see if she follows, and more importantly, see if you all see her. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Just get up and walk back to his room, uh, grab the flute, wave to her, and just, like, start walking out of his room. As he makes it down the hallway, he'll turn his head back. Is she following? No, you don't see her. Hmm. So Still I bring have the flute. a question. Uh, due to the fact that we all saw the previous lives or whatever they were for us, mm-hmm. the visions, uh, did we see the flute? No. In that? Okay. So That's just creepy. flashes. Yeah. So you guys basically got flashes of their powers. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it comes back up with the flute. Just kind of sits, plops on the table. I think he'll have a look around. Is she anywhere around? Yeah, so she's sitting next to you. Just nope. Vaguely. See? Nobody else sees her. Friends? God. Huh. Cool, so only I can see God. Yeah, Fantastic. She, yeah, she kind, of, <laughs> she kind of looks at you, and she blinks a couple times, and then she looks at them. And then she just kind of like sits and is just like looking straight forward. Huh. Well, so I have an imaginary friend. That's fun. 
Uh, outside of that, okay. So, anyone got any read on this flute or nothing? I mean, we could look our search in our databases for anything about the flute. We could have factory investigate the flute, um, but it's definitely oh, not. Oh man, anything. both of those sound like really useful things to do. Maybe have both of those things happen sometime. You really are cruising for a ride up there. Dex. I'm in a real piss mood, dude. Please <laughs> just do the thing if you don't mind. Yeah. So Lock walks over, picks up the flute, and just kind of like is taken aback as he sees this little girl sitting next to you. Hmm. And then he is like, well, I mean, I guess I've seen her before. And then he just walks downstairs. Cryptic. Fantastic. How did he see her last time if he didn't have the flute? She tried to give him the flute. So only some people get the flute. Why well, me then? Mm -hmm. I mean, I she found you approachable. <laughs> or she wants someone as sad as she is. Makes you think I'm sad. Are you? All, and this is asking factory what all information do we have from when they came back with all the artifacts that group of people um i have a database full of information i can leave some printouts in your room okay what's if your you would, please what? Uh, you've got a hunch, Zarka. What's up? No, I was just, like I said last night, um, there was another group of people, and that's who I think you guys got glimpses of. Because mm -hmm. I remember the flute being mentioned in one of those reports. Whoever so, it was that I saw had light based powers. Mine was a speedster. Pretty fast, too. wonder what I could do with that. I don't remember their names. I'm going to go get those reports. <laughs> we'll be here. So, yep. uh, as Zarka goes downstairs, Ross comes up and basically, like, ushers you guys downstairs as well. He's like, look, uh, we're going to try some stuff here. Um, I need you all to... To group up in the uh, in the caution room, please. Okay. What was that? Art. Art just goes. Are we supposed to hold hands too? I mean, if you... like not being able to stop himself from just like being a smart ass, <laughs> just like oh, shit. <laughs> look. If you want to hold hands, look. I don't. I'm not gonna stop you from holding hands. I don't care what you guys do in the caution room, but just be cautious. Uh, <laughs> Dex pops up. Uh, we'll turn back to look at God and just... You coming? Oh, she's not there. Huh. Guess if I don't have the flute, I can't see her. Hmm. Or she goes where the flute goes. Whatever. Maybe. You know, just... Maybe she just has something else to do. Could be. We'll see. Anyway, downstairs. All right. So you guys all kind of shuffle downstairs and group up into the into the caution room and as you open the door to like go into the caution room you see that also in the middle of the caution room is a unicorn oh yeah they did mention that oh, oh my goodness oh my goodness what's their name uh, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I'm just what are you doing at Dex's face. <laughs> I'm just not sure how to process this <laughs> Can I have it? Can I? Can I have them? Can I? Can I take care of them? Can I love them? <laughs> oh my god, I love it! All right. So, as you're all standing there with the unicorn in the caution room, you notice that the the unicorn's kind of got like like a vest strapped around it with like different wires and things running around. Um, if if you didn't know better, you would have thought that someone strapped like explosives. To this unicorn. My first thought. Um, but looking closely, you notice some of it's like technology you don't really recognize. Like it almost looks like it's not 
from the planet Earth, or, you know, anything that you've ever seen. Um, there's some, like, vials of liquid on one side. There's, like, what looks like a clock on another side. Um, very, just very off-putting um, as you guys guys kind of look around it. Oh, are we t trying the time travel thing again? And as you are all just kind of in, in uh, investigating this, you just kind of hear loudly from the other room for science and <laughs> no no and I the just kind of like starts to like flash and like distort uh -oh. <laughs> and warp um and your suits come on like just instinctively to protect you guys <laughs> as this room just kind of like explodes in like a, a weird distorted white light um and then as soon as it like starts it's 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 over um, and all mm -hmm. that's all that's left of the unicorn is a horn, like smoking in the middle of the room, and oh. you guys are all just standing there, kind of looking at this smoking unicorn I'm, horn. I'm gonna run over, like crying, and just pick it up. Like, Why'd you do it? <laughs> who, was it that who was it that yelled for science and just set it off? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been Bob Ross. God damn it, Ross! Big move, dude. Gotta say. Yeah. It was Unicorn. Why? I'm like king of dick moves. They killed the last unicorn. Pretty sure it's not the last one, but that you could have warned us. You could have just not done that to it. Okay, and right. Honestly, so I didn't even know its name. Why? Why did you do this? What was for science? You're not. Yeah, why you're not getting a little science fair project. You're not getting any response. That's not good. Can we see into the other room? Is it no. like two way? No. We that's that's why all you guys heard was oh. for science. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! Wait Let's a minute. Go oh, no. Where's the door? Can I open the door? Yeah. Open Where are we at? Can I, so can I open the door. door. So as you open the door, it looks like a basement in a restaurant, like like a basement storeroom. Fuck, I think we did it, dudes. God damn it. And you can hear in a commotion, like you hear a commotion upstairs above you, people fucking screaming about a horse in the building. Oh no. There's it our teleported friend. it, but it left the horn behind. I'm going to I'm going to pocket the horn in my in my suit. That's not creepy. Oh, she needs a proper funeral. I heard I unicorn horn is uh, is uh, what you call it. Uh... Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. Absolutely not. I feel like nope. I feel like an arrow tip made out of a unicorn horn would be very powerful. I, yeah. I mean, sure, but it's also Probably. an aphrodisiac. So, I why wow. I said no, I said no, and we did it anyway. That's right. So let's just go upstairs. Down, power down my suit and go towards the stairs. Yep, following. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. Dex will power down his suit and like stick his hands in his Gotta pocket and start sneaky. shambling upstairs. Gotta be sneaky. Mm -hmm. What's yeah, up? I mean, the commo they're they're losing their shit about this horse, so you guys could probably just walk up there and not walk out. Yeah, not even be noticed. So. Yeah, I just I guess the first thing I do is as we're walking <sighs> up, I look for like, I guess Dex is he smart enough to do this? I think he'd try to look around and see if there's a clock or anything around. Uh, not downstairs, and you don't see one as you enter, like, the restaurant. You can't really see one, like, in, like, the mm -hmm. restaurant lobby. <laughs> and um, we don't have our phones. Okay, we want to time travel. Find out what year it is. There's a newspaper stand across in the park. Of course there is. And Zucker Convenient. remains the most effective member of our team. Let's go there. <laughs> It's almost like I've done this, like, three times. <laughs> so as you, as you guys are going upstairs, and Art was carrying that unicorn horn, it starts to kind of like shake in his hand and then it just like by itself just rockets out of his hands and strikes back onto the unicorn and then the unicorn just pops uh out of out of existence seemingly what the you, know what? For the... you know par for the course i'm starting to think we may have time traveled starting or Settle on it. Settle on it. Different reality. We Settling. 
Let's find See. out either way. Yep. Newspaper stand, yeah? Yep. Take a look at the shop, take a look at the park, find a newspaper. It's all same as it was before. So this is one of those things like that movie where we can't like disturb a butterfly or anything where it might cause ripples in the timeline or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so as you guys leave the shop, you hear Ashton Kutcher screaming about not stepping on butterflies. What? Yeah, because the movie that Foxy is referring to is an Ashton Kutcher movie from like oh. the early 2000s. <laughs> well, if Ashton Kutcher's it. alive, we know at least a relative frame of time. <laughs> I'm too young to get that. Except nobody knows it. Like, they're like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm aware. I'm understanding. All right. Anyway, let's go to the fucking park and the newspaper stand and figure out what year it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think Dex, like, if we, as we, like, up, like, are walking down the street towards the stand, Dex just kind of walks up and just snatches one. Doesn't say anything. Just. Okay. What do we got? I don't know. I didn't write the newspaper. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm 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 taking this moment of power. It's 1979. Fuck it. Even you, you want to play that game? We're playing that game. It says June 21st, 1979. There you go. They they there you go. There there it is. Fair enough. So yeah, Dex is just like, huh? So none of us are born yet. So thankfully, no paradoxes. He just shows the newspaper to his friends. Check it um, out. Dude. Oh, so as you're looking at the newspaper, you see an article about the United States and the Soviet Union reaching an agreement uh, about strategic arms limitations. Hold hey, this is when the uh, the 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 uh, the, uh, the um the um the um the uh the President war, Jimmy the Carter. one that wasn't hot. Cold War. That one. Did you really say the one that wasn't hot? Shut up, okay? I'm not good at history. Or math. Who knows a, or science. Who knows that that specific war happened but forgets the name? Plenty of wars are not hot, thank you very much. I didn't think about the war. I, like, didn't remember anything, but at least I didn't say the not hot war. <laughs> All right. I, I don't appreciate the insult to my limited intelligence right now, Art. And frankly, <laughs> if you want to fight me right here on the streets of 1979, right, in the middle of our colorful suits, we can do that right now, Art. Is that what you want to do? Um, so we're going to pull guys. on You want to go? That you don't do right now. We we'll go right now. I'll put the fucking suit on. You also, you also notice there's a, a lengthy kind of like editorial piece about Chuck Berry uh, pleading guilty to tax evasion. I Ooh. don't read. <laughs> okay, now you're insulting your intelligence. I'm accepting my intelligence. <laughs> Guys, can Sark we just? just... Sark has just fucking broken at this point. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Can we just? Can we just focus? On trying to ascertain what's going on and see if there's a way to get back. I'm with her on this one. Um, so as you guys look around, you notice that it, you know, while the newspaper seems to kind of have like seemingly normal news for 1979, you notice around town things don't quite seem as normal. Uh, the statue in the park is a statue of Bob Ross, which is just weird. To you guys. He's the one who sent us here. This is <clears throat> yeah. If you were to if you were to go investigate the statue, the plaque might, you know, say something, but Yeah. Yeah, we'll you know what? It. Fuck it. Okay. Gotta know. This is fine. I was about to say I don't care, but okay. So as you as you walk through the park, you notice it looks like everybody just kind of looks like Bob Ross. What the fuck? What did oh, he do? It's one, of, it's one of these weird ones. Um, yeah, everybody, everybody just kind of looks like Bob Ross. Um, there's people Uh, like a full on like painting class going on in the park. Like it's just, it's just really off putting. And as you get to the, you get to the statue and you read the statue, you know, it says 1979. Uh, it, it also mentions commander Ross, the, you know, supreme leader of, of earth. Okay. There are just some realities that are weird, like this one. 
So... What do we do now? I usually just look for factory. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Wait a minute. Factory can hear us from our suits, yes? Yeah, I can hear you, Dex. Oh, fantastic. there we go. Oh, fantastic. Dex will pull out his coin very calmly. Henshin. And his suit will come on. The will hold out his hand. His trident manifests. He puts it onto the ground. The top of it ignites in flames. Listen to me very, very clearly, you ignorant brick and mortar piece of shit. I am so very far past, not in the mood for fuckery right now, but you're gonna put this back right now, or I'm gonna start lighting things on fire indiscriminately. And yes, I know what that fucking word means. Look, you can light it all you want on fire indiscriminately. I can't just pull you back through time. I didn't send you back through time. I have no control who, over this. Then who put us here and when can they fix it? Uh, oh, Ross. Ross is working on it. He's trying to pull you guys back now. Um, he just keeps muttering the phrase for science. I'm going to uh, break something. We, I'm going to break several Ross? things. I'm going to break so many fucking things. I mean, if you want to use target practice, I guess that's all on you. It sounds like everybody around me's open fire. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's not our timeline. What can we ruin? Then fry! And Nick will just start pointing his fire indiscriminately at random Bob Ross no! and firing off fireballs. So as you're firing off fireballs at these random Bob Rosses, behind you, you kind of hear like a whoosh. And a portal kind of, like, opens behind you. And some very heavily armored henshin-looking figures step out. And they they basically grab you by the arms and just say, you're under arrest, and pull you back through the portal. Uh, okay, fuck. now the fucking Are pajama squad's them? here! Dex said that he's being grabbed by the arms. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> wait! Another, another smaller... Um, armored henshin comes out. I mean, they're, like, small. They look kind of like a child, and they come out with, like, just a list of of violations that Dex is, has done, and, like, the fines attached to those violations. So it's not even like he's being charged, like, really. He's just being fined for everything. Um, and they hand you the list of fines and then just kind of, like, beckon you through the portal as well. Fuck you. I have an alibi. Okay. <laughs> he just takes it and tucks it away in her notebook and Follows. Yeah. Dex will stand fervently on that spot. We don't know him. <laughs> and I don't know them. I don't know you, frankly. Oh my god. The only non Bob Ross is in this world. <laughs> oh, this 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 case is gonna be a nightmare. Do you guys know what cooperation means? No, they no, don't. Actually. It means to work as a unit. We're not doing that. I need us to do that. Please. Nurka, are you going to be okay? I'm working on it. <laughs> you don't work with me, and you just stop instigating people. I frankly feel like I was the one who was instigated. But I'll take it. as our resident team leader and the only brain cell here, I will behave. Oh God, For why now. am I the adult? <laughs> just all right, so what, kind of like... lightly just pat you on the back. <laughs> so you guys you guys find yourselves sitting kind of like in a courtroom with a judge that looks like Bob Ross. Um, he does. On the on the like placard it says Commander Ross. Um mm -hmm. And he just kind of, like, looks at Dex and is just kind of, like, shaking his head. Great. Right to the head, honcho. What's up, boss? Setting people on fire, son. Come on. Pretty original, right? Kind of fun. Pretty spontaneous. Shaking things up around here a little bit, you know. No. I feel like we're too, I don't know, samey here. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it, it was original, because I did it three years ago when I decided to become Commander Ross and, you know, take over the planet. So many questions. Gonna skip all of them. <laughs> what? Why? How? 
What do you mean, what? Uh, What's I have... happening? Why are we here? How do we fix it? Well, I learned through trial and error that setting people on fire was not a good idea. So I had to implement some laws about setting people on fire. You violated those laws, um, and now you're here to be sentenced to community service. What if we're new uh, to this dimension and didn't know these laws? Uh, can I see your visas? Uh, we just showed up. We yeah, haven't gotten to do any paperwork. So if you want to steer us in the direction of who can, we can do the paperwork with, we you guys, can do you that. Guys, you guys just time traveling without time visas? Um, oh, well, it was kind of an accident. Yeah, we were time kidnapped, I'll have you know. So you were just, yeah, uh, look, all right, hold on here. And he he like flips open like a like a old like it, an old old looking laptop like, and hits hits some buttons on it. Uh, oh, great, we're in Loki. <clears throat> and then and, and and he's like, all right, uh, countdown. And then he just hits enter, um, and you guys feel like a tug, and everything just kind of like slides backwards, and you're back in the caution room. Uh, is the unicorn still there? And no. do we hear for science? You you do hear for science. I am going to walk out of the room and punch Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, you are more than welcome to try. I mean, my plan was to fucking freeze fry him, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Darker, can we do that? I would appreciate it if you didn't. <sighs> I'm not hearing a convincing argument against it personally. Please don't. I'm going to try not to. For you, I'm going to try to resist God. my impulsive Thank urges you. of a teenager. Thank anyway, you. I we're back. Much appreciate it. So what? Listen, folks. All I'm seeing is that we're back. So what I'm understanding from this is that me setting people on fire actually fixed the problem. <laughs> Maybe if you really want to, if you want to trace, if you want to trace the lines there, it feels like me setting people on fire is what actually got us back home. So uh, <laughs> what I'm waiting to hear is a. Uh, so as no. you as you that guys shouldn't have worked, walk, but walk back but... out into the. Uh... Thank you. You're welcome. As you walk back out into the main room, uh, Bob Ross is there looking at the computers, looking over some readings. On one of the walls, you see a a picture of of Dex, and it says, you know. Uh, Ross Topia, 1979. Uh, this man is barred from entry. <laughs> I've been barred from worse places. Anyway, you. Yeah, look, fancy tech in here. Something here in a thermometer or anything? I don't know. I want to make sure you keep, keep temperature check while I flash fry you. <laughs> I mean, again, you're more than welcome to try. Don't fucking tempt me. I swear to God I will. Go for it. So why did you thrust us into another universe? Did you not hear for science? Uh, I mean, yes, but that, oh, you're not giving me a good reason not to flash fry that, you. That, that is very, very vague at best. Well, the enemy has time travel. We need okay. time travel. We've got to be able to test the time travel. So it's all well, for that science. Well, so time we were, travel. We did a new universe. Things. It was it was both, technically speaking. Oh, so I sent you to a pocket dimension. At a different point in time. At a different point in time. Yes. Rostopia, you're looking at it on the news right there. Can you send yourself next time? I don't want to go. <laughs> oh, I've sent myself plenty of times. Where do you think Rostopia came from? Okay, fuck all that. I care less about you. Where's my flute? Uh, so as you as you say that, Locke walks in. And he just kind of sighs, and he hands you back the flute, and he's like, look, you you figure this out. And he walks away. He's like, she would not leave me alone. And then, as, you know, as you're holding the flute, the little girl's just kind of, like, sitting on one of the computer consoles, just kind of, like, kicking her legs, just kind of staring off into space. Uh, I think Dex yeah. is going to hold the flute, look at Locke's back, look over at, at Bob, look back and forth. Look briefly over at his three friends. Yeah, fuck this place. And just like turn like he wants to walk away. Um, so yeah, at that point, Morgan would just kind of walk over, kind of put her hand on his shoulder. Uh, 
Do you want to get out for a little bit? Take a breather? You know, air sounds fantastic. I, I'd love it. Maybe breathe my own timelines, oxygen for a bit. <laughs> uh, there's. You said that there was a park literally right across the way, right? Yep. Yeah, let's let's go outside and hang out at the park for a little bit. Promise I won't burn anything. Please don't. Please don't promise. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't there. <laughs> and yeah, I guess I'll follow Morgan out on that at that point. All right. So you guys head over to the park, and as you are walking through the park, mm-hmm. you hear a very loud like buzzing. Um, oh. And it seems to kind of be coming from all sides. I can't catch a fucking break today, can I? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Can I okay. see where it's coming from? Uh, you you can't see where it's coming from, but it sounds like almost like a swarm of like wasps is just. And probably multiple, like it's, it's almost like you're in a dome of sound, like a dome of just these wasps. And it, does it get louder the further we go or is it? It's, it was loud as you entered the park and then as you're walking away from it, it's kind of like, like it's being left behind you, but it's still almost like you're in just like a dome of this sound. Okay. Yeah, I can't be good, right? Uh, definitely not. Um, and we don't have our phones, because we gave them all to Zarka. <laughs> no. We've gotten your phones back. Oh, okay, if we were oh, given our phones back, then yeah, she's just texting oh. you guys very quickly. Like, hey, when we entered the park, it sounded like a lot of buzzing, sort of like the other night, only it's more, and it's like a dome. Like wasps, yeah? Yeah, like wasps. I just text and- back. I heard target practice, and I go outside. <laughs> Couldn't fucking agree more. Hey, wasp like light? He flips his coin in his hand. Um, that's moths, but maybe? Let's find the fuck out. Henshin. Oh, God, okay. All right, so as you guys henshin, henshin up, you see another henshin off in the distance that looks like a giant wasp. And you see, sitting on top of a building, looking down at him, just kind of like kicking his feet, is Enigma. Swear to God. Yeah, that's that's how this day was going to go. That is where we'll end it. All right. Cool. I'm in the mood to break something. Yes. Break this fucker's face. Oh, my God. Yeah, pretend pretend he's Bob Ross yelling for science at you. I'm, I I want to hit a lot of a lot of things right now. Bob Ross is just on the list. How far up the list is he? It's like three right now. Easy three. What's number one? Tom Cruise. No, I'm mean, elaborate. I'm I'm with you on that one. I have I have a goal. Like my my goal is, and because we go to Vegas every year, is to punch Chris Angel in the dick. Okay, solid. Like, you I, know. All right, then. Some then, people want fame or, or wealth or status or respect. Some people want to punch Chris Angel in the dick. My, I respect that. My second goal, like my second life goal, is to put an end to Joel Olstein. So. Who? The the hyper-conservative uh, super pastor guy? Yeah, the megachurch guy who, who reported yeah. $600,000 stolen, and then it was found hidden in a wall in his church. Ah. Uh-huh. Hmm. I just realized we're still alive and we can get accused of things with the, talking about this, right? Listen, oh, no. Joel Osteen can pull up and fight me. What's up? Yeah, what I, do you want? He's a piece of I'm shit. I'm about smoke. I have a, I had a whole I had a whole character based after him in uh, while True we Evil. While we at it, we on Twitch, so I know that motherfucker can hear us. Get at me, Bezos. I smack the back of your bald ass head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Check was like a fucking screenshot. <laughs> All right, that's how we're ending it for the night, everybody. Y'all, I want to thank everybody for coming in and hanging out with us at GPK. Uh, if, if Foxy goes missing, we know it was Bezos. <laughs> I'm dying for the revolution. <laughs> okay, then. I will go ahead and let you guys get your outros, and then we will throw a host over to Perception. Um so uh, we started with Dex, so we'll start our outros with Art this time. 
Hi, or Baya, I'm Hyacinth, and I played Art Klein, our Yellow Ranger, who's a little impulsive party goer, but not as hectic as Dex. Um, yeah, and I'll be here every other Thursday, starting next Thursday for Queen's Gambit, and then, of course, on Singularity. So, uh, uh, Kit. All righty. Hey, guys, it's uh, Kitsune60. I played Pink Ranger, who is currently just consistently confused at all times about what the fuck is going on. Um, you will probably see me again next time Henshin rolls around, but outside of that, you can find me in the Discord channel. Outside of that, I don't really do much as of yet. All right. Foxy, over to you. Hey, guys. I have Mephila Goldfish. I'm also Young Foxy, a.k.a. Big Foxy, also known as your current and only favorite fox. I can be found on Twitter sphere at Young Fox, or sorry, at Big Foxy. That's B I G underscore F O double X double I. I dunk on right wingers. I slay fascists. I have a good time doing it. Tonight, I have been Dex uh, Trellin, your resident imp with the biggest chaotic energy of all time. Again, I'm here to cause problems on purpose. I'm found usually over on Neon Lights Roleplay here in Twitch sphere. In fact, you'll find me there tomorrow for uh, Michelle's A Blade's Will Alliance of Heaven, a Naruto based 5e campaign. That'll be super fun. Uh, besides that, uh, I'm around doing other stuff. Uh, next week, actually, is the launch of my next campaign, uh, After the End. Launches next, uh, so I'll be running that with my four awesome players. Uh, more stuff coming beyond that. It's been an awesome time. Like this campaign. Like making you all break character and laugh really hard. Like causing problems on purpose. Uh, Meg, bring us home. Hello, everybody. I am Meg Mysteria, and I've played Saga Dubois tonight, our Green Ranger, who is just already very, very tired. You're welcome. And regretting all of her life choices. <laughs> she didn't know you were going to be the adult. <laughs> Hi, she I'm your left. She didn't know. She didn't know she was going to be the adult. No one prepared her for this. <laughs> but uh, as far as where you can find you, me, you can find me on Discord, on Twitch, on Twitter, all under Meg Mysteria. You can also find me on my itch.io page with Byte and uh, thinking with portable kaleidoscopes is still a work in progress. But. Uh, as far as that goes, you'll find me next in, not next Monday, but the Monday after for Stargate Phoenix. And then that same week, that Wednesday, will be my campaign, um, Hubris of Man, the alien RPG campaign. Uh, and we're doing some off-screen recording stuff and some things in the works with Neon Lights. So there's oh, that right. going yeah. on. All we got stuff stuff. going on. Mm -hmm. But... That's it for me. Let's throw it over to Fail to wrap us up for the night. All right, all right. Again, I just want to thank everybody for coming and hanging out with you. I have been Fail Prime, your Dungeon Master. I have played numerous characters, and I will have numerous more appearing as we go forward. Um, I'm glad that I made a new friend for Foxy and a creepy little girl that just kind of blinks at him. Um, we'll see I like her. She's my before, favorite so far. Before he mm -hmm. loses his mind. Um, <laughs> I will be in all sorts of stuff upcoming. Uh, I've got some stuff going on with Neon Lights um, coming up here in the future. I will be in Hebrews of Man. Um, so again, keep an eye out because we've got all sorts of great content across all sorts of different channels, that being Neon Lights, TPK, Nat20. There's there's all sorts of stuff coming up. So please, just be sure to check us out, stick with us, uh, and have a great night, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and throw a raid over to Perception Studio. Um, so if you want to stick around and see some awesome Felted friends playing some D&D. Let's stick around. Bye bye. 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 I'm gonna keep waving till I know we're out. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever you're, whenever, whenever you're right. ready. We're waiting. <laughs> we're.